Welcome to Math Stuff. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to continue the tutorial on LaTeX, and uh, we will use LaTeX code to create fractions. So 3 over 7, and 3 over x plus 5, y plus 5 over 2y minus 3, and so on. So let's start with the simplest. 3 over 7. Okay, so we use the text tool and then we clicked the, um, the um, graphics view. So to create 3 over 7, we type backslash and then the word frac for fraction and then open and close curly brackets and then another open and close curly brackets. Now the first, or the number, or, or the variable, or anything inside or between the first pair of the curly brackets is the denominator, or the numerator rather, of the fraction. So in this fraction, 3 is the numerator, so we type 3 here. And then 7 is the denominator. So let's check if what happens. Okay, so this is the preview of the fraction. Then click the OK button. So this is the fraction for 3 over 7. So we change the font, or we change the size of the font. Second example, how do we write 3 over x plus 5? Okay, again we use the text tool, click the graphics view, and then we type frac again, and then the two pairs of curly brackets. Now here the denom or the numerator is 3, and the denominator is x plus 5, so we put x plus 5 inside or between the second pair of curly brackets. So if we check the LaTeX formula, as we can see, it's the same as this fraction. So we click the OK button and then change the size to arch. So we can see the both fractions. Next, y plus 5 over 2y minus 3. So same also, we type frac. What is the numerator here? It's y plus 5, so we put y plus 5 between the first pair, or inside the first pair, and then 2y minus 3 inside the second pair. Okay, so when we check, lat when we check the LaTeX box, what happens is that this becomes uh, a LaTeX text and then uh, as we can see the fraction is formed okay, so we change to large again now this one is a bit complicated because um, this is a fraction the whole one is a fraction and this one is also a fraction so how do we do this can frac. Now notice that in this fraction, a plus one over a is the denominator, or the sorry, the numerator, and then five is the denominator. So the simplest thing to do first is to write the denominator, which is five. Second, in the numerator we have a plus another fraction. So since, since since this 1 over a is another fraction, we also we again write slash frac. So remember that this here, this portion is actually the this numerator, the a plus 1 over a. And all we have here is a, so we will have another frac. So again, two pairs, 1 
2. What is in the first pair? We are, we are already writing 1 over a. So in 1 over a, 1 is the numerator and a is the denominator. Again, so a, this one is this one, a, plus, this is plus, and then 1 over a, this is the fraction 1 over a. Let's see. Okay, so it's the same. Okay, so we finish with this fraction 1 over x plus 5 all over 2 over x minus 5. So we have frac. So we first work with the numerator. What is the numerator? Well, to make it clearer, let's widen the space. So forget about this first. What, what is in the numerator? 1 over x plus 5. When you have a fraction, you should write frac or backslash frac. So in the numerator, what is the numerator? 1. And then what is the denominator? We have x plus 5. So this is this is the numerator of the whole fraction. Now this one, second part is the denominator of the whole fraction, which is 2 over x minus 5. So again, the denominator is also a fraction, so we type slash frac, and then what is in the numerator of the of this fraction? We have 2, and then what is the denominator? We have x minus 5. So we type x minus 5 in the second box, or in the second inside the second pair of curly brackets. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so so this is the this is the numerator of the whole fraction. One over x plus five. This one, this part, and then this is the denominator, of the whole fraction, which is two over x minus five. So as we can see, um, LaTeX really makes everything convenient when it comes to writing mathematical expressions. So that's it for now. See you in the next tutorial.